Welcome to this short introduction of the CI Hub plugin for Figma. To install the plugin, just go to Plugins, Manage Plugins, and then select Browse Plugins in Community, type CI Hub in the search bar, and click the Install button. So that's it. So back to Figma and if you tab the show details you will get some further information about the plugin including some links. To launch the plugin just go to plugins and see iHub connector and the first you get is the welcome page you can register if you haven't already. This is a link to the registration form. And if you have registered, you can log in uh, by using your credentials. And the plugin is ready to work. So in this case, I've already logged in into the system and created some connections as you can see here these are my favorite connections um, there are much more available if I click on show all you get a list of all available connections there are about 50 um, connections that are already in the plugin available. You can store your connections and load your connections so that's quite easy. And to switch between these connections um, I just selected my dam system which is a minor dam system. Go to assets and you have filters. You can use them and some special filters as you can see here, use case, that always depends on the system that is connected and the keywords. So it could be different. So if I switch to Unsplash, which is um, in the standard um, connections included, um, you will have other filters. If you go to the full text search, um, let's search for, let's say, uh, computer and desk. And now you can see there are some filters. You can sort by um, the content, the colors, and so on. And let's switch back to our dam system. If you tap on an image, you see the details. It's the IPTC metadata content. And you can have a list view in the panel. You can have the tile view. You can have a detail view, which brings up all the metadata content. And of course, you can change the size of these preview images from S to XXL. So you can have different preview sizes in the plugin. In addition to the DAM and PIM systems that are connected, there are also cloud storages such as Dropbox, Box, etc and stock providers such as Getty, Unsplash, iStock, etc. Um, pre-installed as a standard. So let's see how the image placement is working. Now in order to minimize the file size of the Figma document, the CI Hub plugin enables you to select a low rendition for image placement and if you hover the little green icon in the image in the upper left corner you can always check the rendition which is currently selected. If you do a right click on an image 
you will see a context sensitive menu that comes up. So, for example, there is nothing selected in the canvas. I can only place an image. And this is how it works. And if an element is selected in the canvas, I can say add as fill. So, this is how it's working. Let's add some images. And you have the replace feature. So you can replace existing images in the canvas with the one you just selected. And let's replace it again. And if uh, an image is placed multiple times in the document, the connector will find them all and replace them all. So let's talk about versions. Um, I can check the versions via the check panel. Um, I just have a look at these images. I do a check status and you can see the little warning symbol and that means that there is a newer version available. That means I just have to click on the newer version and say relink, choose a rendition and the old version is replaced with the latest version. So the check panel has lots of more features but I will come to it later on. Even if images are not visible in the canvas and in case they are clipped um, or if you uh, work with um, scroll areas, um, the um, CIR plugin will find these images. You can select these images. You see the preview of the image and of course you can replace them via the plugin. So let's check the third one which is included in here. If I click the link you see this is where the image is placed. You get a preview and you can replace them. So let's do a preview of this area. You can see these images are all listed in the check panel, even if they are not visible in the canvas. So let's have a look at another really cool feature, uh, which is the similarity search. Let me place an, an image with a person in here and I'll click the similarity search button and choose Getty. Now the system offers similar images to the one I have selected in the canvas and they're all coming from Getty and I can use the images. You can see that there are renditions available and I can replace it directly from Getty into my canvas. With a deep link, you can directly jump into Getty and see all the details to the replaced image. Okay, so let's switch over to the text placement. Um, I've prepared some frames for images and for text. And let's place an image here we go. And you have access to the metadata content and if you highlight a text you can just move the metadata field towards the stage and the text will be replaced with the metadata content. So let's search for another image. Place the file and then select the placeholder text and place the metadata content. So that's quite easy and it always depends where your cursor is placed. Um, if you place a cursor in the mid of a paragraph you can place the text where the cursor is placed. Now you can do some, some effects 
which you can see here with text also. So you can fill text with image via the plugin and you can create some, some special effects like this one here. Uh, but that depends on what you would like to do. Uh, the thing is, it always works with the panel and you can place images and create some effects. So let's switch over to components and color styles with the CI Hub connector. So I have a, the main component and some instances and if I say replace um, it works with the main component and with the instances. Now the replace all feature doesn't have any effect on instances. It just touches the main component but it won't replace the instances. So you can use the replace all feature anytime you want to use it. So let's have a closer look at color styles and image placement with the CI Hub connector. If I place an image via the plugin and there are color styles selected, I can work with the color styles. And if I search for these images that have been placed with the plugin, you can see that the color style is listed where the image is placed. So you always have a full control of the location of your image. Um, if it's a fill, if it's a color style. Um, so this is really perfect for working with styles, even if you want to use icons or something like that. This is really cool feature. So last but not least, let's talk about the check panel. So at the end, you have really full control over all placed assets in your document, no matter if it's the source, the location, the version, the resolution, if you're working with color styles. Um, you can do bulk operations in this first row. That means you can replace high-res images with low-res images. And you can even upload images that have been paste it into your canvas so the panel finds pasted images and you can upload them with one click into your system. So there are more than 50 connections available in the standard. Uh, if you want to have more information about the connected systems, please check out our website. The plugin is working in the Adobe Creative Cloud applications. It is working in the Microsoft Office 365 environment. It is also working in the Google Workspace. Uh, it's Sheets, Docs and Slides. And it's of course working in Figma and Sketch. So that's all I've got for today. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email or visit our website at cihub.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.